Hello and welcome to part 5 of NCIS. Hope you enjoy. Diva, search the place. Talk to the rest of the team. See if they need help. Yes, Gibbs. Tony, where did the police sergeant go? Handed the case over to us and got back on his pony. There was a pony at the crime scene? It's an expression, Ziva. It means he... Ah, never mind. Round up all the guns from our dead guys over there. Then bag and tag the stray brass. I know the procedure, Tony. Okay, we're at the second crime scene here. We're going to start off by uh, taking pictures of uh, all the guns that we can find. A gun. So, I should take a there's photo. one. And there are three guns in in total we have to we have to find here, so I'm gonna I'm gonna show them show the locations of all guns. And here is uh, the second gun. Uh, gun here. And the third and final gun should be off to the right here, right next to this this body, as right in front of I me think there. This may be the last and that gun. is all locations of, of each gun. Now we're going to look for two sets of bullet holes. The the first set are on the counter here, as you can see. I'm about to show you that there now. Bullet holes. I should take a photo. And the other set of bullet holes are behind the counter with the whiskey bottles. Uh, just above the, the dead body, right next to the safe. What's that? But I'll be showing you them there. First we're going to take some pictures of some money. Clearly this money came from the cash register. And now we're going to move over to the till and take a picture of that. And then I'm just going to turn around and take a picture and open, open I mean, I mean, open that uh, safe the cash and then register take a picture empty. of what's in that. Get a picture. There you go. Empty cash register. Hmm. Now, when we get to the safe, you'll see a lot. A safe. Which you have to unlock. I should see what is inside. Uh, Let me see if I can still open one. Twist, twist it clockwise slowly until you that green locks there. You don't want to do this too fast, otherwise it will cancel that out, and you have to do it again. This looks to be related to the casino. We're just going to take a picture of uh, I should documents here. The safe is done. I will move on. Could you be so kind as to help me take photos of these recently departed souls? Please don't forget, I need photos of all the victims. Now we've taken fight. pictures of the both victims. There is another one uh, which is behind the counter, but instead we're just going to move off the left and open this locker. And we're, we're going to, this is going to be the same way you opened the safe to get in here. And we're going to take a picture of whatever's inside. So uh, as, I'm, as you can see, I'm opening it now. Night vision goggles and explosives. And it's a bit Gibbs of C4 and some night goggles.
Nothing left to search in the locker. I will move on. Now we're on to the last victim. We're going to go take a picture of him now. Yeah. So once you uh taken a picture of this man here. Three victims, three photos. I will move on. I'm gonna move on to the next room now and uh, take some pictures of the blood on the this floor like and there is a bit of blood on the chair next to the, on the corner of the chair next finished taking photos of these now on to other things is that blood no body though i should photograph this Alright, there is a mobile phone there, but um, I'm not going to take a picture of it quite yet. I'm going to go back and talk to the, the doctor at the second and take photos of the other the f other phones because there's, there's three phones you need to take pictures of, so I'll get around to that one in a second. Ziva, how nice of you to come and see me. I was just in the process of measuring the liver temperatures of our deceased friends here. Preliminary estimates indicate all three of them were alive not more than 15 minutes before you arrived on the scene. Did you search the bodies, Ducky? Was there anything of note on the shooter's bodies that might give us a clue as to what the shooting was about? The first man I examined was carrying a cell phone. Perhaps the others have them as well. So the dock has one mobile phone on him, that leaves us with uh, two, two mobile phones to find. So I'm just going to look around the room and see if I can't find that other phone. So I missed uh, that mobile phone earlier, but I seem to manage to find it. It's just right next to that the body, right next to the doctor. I'm going to take a picture of that now. And I did show you earlier where another mobile phone is. So I think we're just going to go next in that next room to uh, take a photo of that. So there is other the, the other set of bullet holes I've managed to find. As I told you earlier, where they were, I managed to just find them then. I so think I think these we're may continue be the around and go into that other room to take a picture of that mo other mobile, which is on the desk at the back there. That's all of them. Hey, Abby. Hi, Ziva. You don't happen to have any 9mm bullets lying around, do you? Um, no. Why? I already used up all mine testing MP5s. I am sorry to hear that. I hope you can find some soon. But in the meantime, we will be sending you a new batch of evidence to process, including some night vision goggles. Score! Night vision goggles. Mine broke last month. Try not to have too much fun. So we're coming to the end of uh, part 5 now. Uh, I will leave a link at the bottom of the description box if you'd like to carry on with this walk through, walk through to part 6. Yeah, let me know what you think about uh, the walkthrough so far and like, comment and subscribe.